Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week of Today in the NA. I'm Brandon Hofstra. The 2023 NHL Showcase was completed this past weekend, four consecutive days of nonstop NHL action at the Super Rink in Blaine, Minnesota. But before we recap the greatest show on ice, let's dive into the latest NCAA commitments around the NHL. James Taylor of the Janesville Jets made his commitment to the University of Maine. The 6'5 defenseman from Ottawa, Ontario, played in three games at the NHL Showcase posting two points in those games. Taylor has four points in five games to kick off his tenure with the Janesville Jets and is looking to finish his junior career strong with the Jets. St. Cloud Norseman's Jack Christ recently announced his commitment to Minnesota State University of Mankato. The 17-year-old forward made his junior hockey debut in Blaine last week and played in all four of the games for St. Cloud, dishing out three assists in those games. The Chaska, Minnesota native, will be looking forward to making a splash in his rookie season. On Wednesday, Isaac Holt of the Johnstown Tomahawks made his commitment to Robert Morris University. The 2005 birthier defenseman from Pembroke, Ontario, is playing in his second season with the Tomahawks, appearing in 45 games for Johnstown in the 2022-23 season. Holt scored his first goal in a Tomahawk sweater on the opening day of the showcase against the El Paso Rhinos and is looking to continue to make an impact for the rest of the year. The North American Hockey League Showcase took place last weekend in Blaine, Minnesota, and it wasn't an event to miss. All 32 teams came to play for three or four games throughout, and for most, it kicked off the regular season. The Northeast Generals stole the show as they were the only team to finish undefeated throughout all four games, heading into the rest of the season with an edge on their East Division foes. The Colorado Grit and New Hampshire Mountain Kings both picked up their first wins in franchise history. The Grit turning things around in Blaine after recording three losses on home ice as they won three games at the Super Rink. The Black Bears, Nordiques, Bruins, Minotauros, Warriors, Mudbugs, and Windigo also left Minnesota with a 3-1 record. Well, it was a thrilling event in the facility, packed to the brim with players, fans, and scouts looking to add to their future talent. Let's hear what Commissioner Mark Frankenfeld had to say about the event and what they look forward to for the rest of the season. Well, I think every year at the Showcase is special. I mean, it's the start of the hockey season. Uh, when scouts come walking in, they start up those stairs, they know the season's starting. And so it's just kind of, it kind of just start, it just gets everybody in that mode. And, you know, right now the Showcase just has not been disappointing at all. Uh, we have more teams here. We have 32 teams here. We've got another 90 youth tier one hockey teams playing. We got the national team development program here. Uh, the 17s and uh, right now our scout numbers are higher than they were last year and uh, back to the old pre-COVID numbers and so right now we got a lot of great hockey players here playing a lot of great hockey to get the season started in front of a bunch of scouts so it's serving its purpose it's here to let these scouts come out get some early identify identify players early and then you know at, create a list and then track them throughout the course of the year. And it seems that the work the league does, being the ladder of development, being the mission, it's showing here with the numbers. And even when you look at last year, the league continues to grow in the commitments, draft prospects that they, we've had, and two new teams joining as well. Speak a little bit on what you guys have been able to do to accomplish all that. Yeah, I mean, the primary goal is for players to play in the league and then advance to college hockey. And so right now we're uh, really consistent with north of 350 NCAA commitments in the league every year. Uh, this last year was 380. About 70% of those players are Division I. And so the league is performing well. As we've added some new teams, uh, we've added great owners, uh, very beneficial to the players, uh, very beneficial to the uh, geography of the divisions. And uh, we get those guys to work and get more players in uh, and allow them to go be part of that advancement track. So the league's primary goal is to develop players. Uh, the owner's primary goal is to give back to the players um, through the sport of ice hockey and the community and right now the league's doing a, a really great job and really happy with how uh, well everybody's doing in the advancement numbers. And while the showcase is one of the premier events the league puts on it's not the only one what's coming up next after this? Yeah so again this is a great place for the scouts to see guys early uh, identify them track them throughout the year we've got the top prospect tournament coming up in February at the Lemieux Center uh, in Pittsburgh again Looking forward to that. We're adding a couple more NA teams there. We'll have the PHL Tier League there. And then we culminate in the Robertson Cup at the end of the year. But the journey's begun. Uh, I don't know where the offseason went, but just excited to be back and see all these young guys come here, playing their hearts out, try to earn an opportunity to advance to college. 
As Mark just said, the journey has just begun, and with that, we look forward to the upcoming weekend of games. The newly joined Rochester Junior Americans and New Hampshire Mountain Kings will both be hosting a pair of games this weekend, and for New Hampshire, it will be their first. Cam Robichaud's squad matches up against the Danbury Junior Hattricks on Friday and Saturday, and will look to move north in their current 500 record. The Junior Americans will face the defending East Division champion, Maryland Black Bears, and will want to utilize their already developed home ice advantage to catch the division-leading Northeast Generals. Moving south, the Brahmas will be heading east to play their division rivals, the Shreveport Mudbugs, for a back-to-back -back series at the Georges Ponds Coliseum. This Robertson Cup South Division final rematch should be an exhilarating weekend series to tune into. To tune into any North American Hockey League game, look no further than NAHL TV, or you can follow along as well on all of our social media accounts. Make sure to also tune into Short Shifts podcast with myself and Vinny Paraselli, where we talk about the latest news across the NAHL, interview players and alumni, and we'll see you back here next week. Thank again, thanks again for tuning in.